A brand new version of Minecraft just came out. Today I will give you a step by step tutorial on how to get better frame rate using Optifine for Minecraft 1.17. If you don't already know, Optifine is a mod for Minecraft Java that gives you the ability to use shaders, zoom in, and get the best possible frame rate. Today I will be showing you how to get the best frame rate you can get in Minecraft Java with your computer. So let's get started. This tutorial requires you to have Optifine. I will link a video on how to install Optifine in the description below. Put this video on pause and watch the video on how to install Optifine then come back after you install Optifine if you don't already have Optifine installed. For this tutorial I will be using three different computers as an example. One of them is likely to be like your computer. I will also put each computer's specs in the description below for anyone who wants to see them. The slowest computer is a budget desktop from 2007. The second slow is a mid-range ThinkPad from 2012. And the fastest computer is a Dell Optiplex from 2012 as well. It has a lot of upgrades, it's a quite high-end computer. Most of the gameplay you see in this video is recorded with a camera to not put any extra strain on the computers. Also, with the budget desktop, I will be using the 1.14.4 version of Minecraft with Optifine, but the settings are the same. Optifine is bugging out for me for the time being. On Minecraft's default settings, the budget desktop gets 3 frames per second average, sometimes with freezes lasting up to 10 seconds. The mid-range laptop gets 73 frames per second average, and the high-end computer gets 300 frames per second average. Also, with the high-end computer, I will be screen recording without the camera, due to it doesn't impact the FPS in any noticeable amount, due to the powerful graphics card. It's now time to start tweaking the settings. Go to options then video settings. In this screen you will want to turn the graphics to fast. This will make the game look a bit worse but will boost your FPS. Then turn your render distance as low as you can. This will shorten how far you can see but will greatly improve your FPS. Then turn your max frame rate to unlimited. Put it all the way to the right. Then turn entity shadows off. This does what the name suggests. Turn off smooth lighting. Dynamic lights off as well. Also set the the GUI scale to 1, but this makes the options and your hotbar tiny. Next, go to the details tab. In here, there is a lot more options. Turn clouds off. Turn trees too fast. Turn sky off. Turn sun and moon off. Turn fog off. Turn translucent blocks too fast. Turn dropped items too fast. Turn vig netty too fast. Turn entity distance to 50% or as low as it goes. Turn cloud height off. Turn Turn rain and snow off. Turn stars off. Turn show capes off. Turn fog starts at 0.2, though it doesn't matter due to we turn fog off. Tell tooltips does nothing. Swamp colors off. Alternate blocks off. Biome blend off. Okay, we are done in the detail settings. Press done, then go to animation. In animations, click all off, then press done. Next, go to the quality tab. Turn MIP map levels off. Turn an is tor fix filtering to off. Turn emissive textures to off. Turn better grass off. Turn custom fonts off. Turn connected textures off. Turn custom sky off. Turn custom entity models off. Turn distortion effects to off. Turn mip map type to nearest. Turn anti-aliasing off. Turn random entities off. Turn better snow off. Turn custom colors off. Turn custom items off. Turn custom GUIs off. Turn FOV effects to off. We are now done with the quality settings. Tap done. Then tap performance settings. Turn on render regions or keep it off if you have a laptop or desktop without a graphics card. Smart animations on. Smooth FPS off or on. It doesn't matter. Chunk updates should be 1. Lazy chunk loading on. Fast render on. Fast math on. Smooth world on. Dynamic updates on. This option makes the world load while you are standing still and not load as much when you are moving to reduce lag. After that, try to go and play Minecraft. If you're still lagging, go over and right click your desktop and click display settings. Once you click display settings, you want to go over and lower your resolution down to 800 by 600. This should work on any Windows operating system ranging from Windows XP to Windows 10 or the upcoming Windows 11. And if you still can't play Minecraft, then sadly it's time to upgrade your computer. You don't need 
to get a fast computer for Minecraft, but it does have to be decent to get good FPS. Time to see what the results are from the settings we changed. The budget desktop gets around 50 FPS average, though it's not great. When loading in new chunks, you get big freezes, but it is playable compared to before. For the laptop, I am sorry about the flickering, can't manage to fix it for the time, so I will play some footage over it so nobody gets a headache from it. The mid-range laptop gets a 320 FPS average. On the laptop, I would set the screen resolution back to normal and turn some settings back up so the game looks better. The high-end computer gets 900 FPS average or so. Again, no lag, a very pleasant experience. On the high-end computer, you can really crank the settings up to high and still have a 70 plus FPS experience. Let me know what your results are down in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, see you next time. Toodles!